Hi guys. So we have a huge problem. I was supposed to upload a video today and I spent at least 15 hours editing it and looking at this face with this hair looking like this and um, it wasn't fun. But at the same time, I did it. I don't know what I was thinking. I really need a favor and I need for all of you to hold me accountable to never put my hair up ever again. Okay, if you'll decide to watch this video, I am so sorry for your loss of a few brain cells because of me. Uh, the fault is on my side. I'm really sorry and I promise to never ever put my hair up ever again. So I love you and I'm gonna go and cry under my bed or something. So have a nice one. guys today i'd like to talk about to-do list i found myself in a situation where i was always left with a page of things that were you know undone and somehow my to-do list that the idea is that it's supposed to make you feel more productive and instead of that it left me feel more unproductive and guilty about all the things that i haven't done when i discovered that i am in fact a rebel from the four tendencies i started questioning whether i should even be using a to-do to-do list, to, not to-do list. I keep sponsoring them, I, I don't know why I do this. For a while there, I dropped planning completely. It only lasted for a while because I am back with my notebooks and shit and learned how to properly use them so that they serve me and not guilt trip me, you know? First thing I want to talk about, and that is that maybe, just maybe, the items on your to-do list are not actionable. Maybe they're like slightly too big. Maybe you end up creating a list of projects instead of list of tasks or like to-dos. If that project or that task you've written ends up being a sum of, I don't know, 10 or 15 tasks, it can be that you end up just crossing that one task slash project of your to-do list and you still have so many other tasks left on it because you didn't really see how many things you have planned for that day. One project, is many tasks and then you have also other tasks or other projects within there so you put yourself in a position where it's just not possible for you to do all of those things in one day that's why i think that writing all of the baby steps of a project have a separate list titled with you know your project name and then the steps of that project written down and then you can just you know take some of the steps for today and some of the steps for tomorrow and some of the steps for the next month you can also like jot down the time frame you're planning on doing that thing or like at least how much time you think it can take so filming a video will tell me half an hour i can write like half an hour next to it or like 30 minutes then i can see how many things am i actually putting on myself that will help with not feeling disappointed all the time about all the things you didn't do you will be less likely to plan 40 hours of work into just one day that let me remind you has only 24 hours and some of them you should be asleep so next problem that you might have with your to-do list is that if you find yourself folding socks instead of working on a big project um that can already be a problem there's nothing wrong with mixing personal and work to-do list i wouldn't say you have to separate those lists but prioritizing priorita like, <laughs> prioritizing prioritizing priorities pri prior priorities pri prioritizing priority i'm really struggling here <laughs> i need i need a friend let me rephrase that if you find yourself doing the mediocre things that you maybe don't even have to do at all instead of working on the big projects because hey folding socks is on my to-do list like i'm being productive no no you aren't like it's easier for us to like let's just stick with this example fold our socks or like put our clothes away or like do laundry than it is to create a six month plan for your business it's easier and we pick the easier thing we know we will feel uncomfortable doing other things that's why now i execute something that i call do the important stuff first it's good to have a list with only your priorities it could be three things it could be five things it could be six things but i don't think it should be more than six things because if you have six things that each of them takes an hour you have six hours of work and um, you know what I mean? It's just, it, it, it could be a lot of work. I assume there are bigger things. So what I like to do is I separate my to-do list into the priorities part and then like everything else. I like to execute those things while doing pomodoros because I'm just more productive that way, you know? So smooth it there for you. 
you're welcome and while prioritizing look at the things that you dread the most like the things you don't want to do you written them down for a reason and i assume that reason is you know to to get that thing done when you're up on your to-do list and you're ready to work just do the thing you dread you will get it over with you will not think about it anymore and you won't end up rescheduling to the next day and then to the next day and to the next day and basically rescheduling to never it just never works it's it's not worth it so do the most important stuff first list those things at the beginning or in a different color or something or like with a star or anything go fancy with it or don't go fancy with it like whatever you like just mark the most important things to get them done first things first and if anything else comes up later you will have the most important stuff already now so it's it's a very productive tip for you that i just gave away okay the next reason why your to-do list may not be working the next mistake if you will is that your to-do list may not be accurate that's very often so when you're not using a paper list but for example some application like todoist or notion or a tick tick or wonder list like you have to keep those tools updated for them to work properly and if you don't do that it just it's just not working you know so if you're using a tool like this or if you're using multiple i don't know notebooks and lists and everything and all your to-dos are like all over the place you have to keep those things updated i would also recommend putting them in one place so that they're not all over the place but they're like in one secure place for you to see and update regularly so we have to consider our time as something that is very freaking important and do the things that really matter and the things that are not important and not urgent are just not worth your energy basically very often we end up doing things for other people that maybe we don't have to do maybe there are other people who can do it or maybe the task doesn't have to be done after all especially not by you value your time and value your energy and only pick things that are important and urgent in a way or not urgent but important i think i made my point <laughs> the last mistake that you may be making if you're using a external task management system besides keeping it updated as i already said i still suggest you put the task that you have planned for today on an external piece of paper or a notebook or a bullet journal like whatever works for you it can be a sticky note it just matters that you have all your priorities for today on a piece of paper like in front of you on your desk or in your notebook whatever it's not as overwhelming as having all of those little tasks and projects in your awesome app and then you're just having to focus on like picked things it just I don't know maybe it's just a me thing but i i really like putting those things on paper to just know what i really focusing on today it's almost like setting a intention for today highly recommend it thank you guys so much for watching i love you more than shit i always forget about my coffees oh it's not even funny anymore i love you more than i love coffee and life is a story so make it a good one bye guys oh,